Sometimes I wonder what it would be like if I was a nail technician 150 years ago. Cameraman, start up the time machine. I'm gonna pack on my nail products. We're going back in time. We did it, we're here. <laughs> that was pretty smooth, cameraman, for traveling back in time. <laughs> I'm going to create a modern acrylic nail, and then I'm going to share with you how you can create your own unique design with vintage jewelry. Let's get started. Before I get to the vintage jewelry, I do need to create a beautiful nail to put it all on. So I'm going with this very modern shaped nail. You know, these long, very, very, very square, almost tube-like nails that you're seeing right now. So we're gonna apply one of those. So I'm just gonna get my medium file. And I'm gonna buff up, oh, get me glasses so I can see my specs. Spectacles. <laughs> Spectacles. <laughs> I'm 150 years older now. <laughs> okay, so I'm just buffing up this nail. And cameraman, I will say that your nail is no longer in existing anymore because I had to do this video, so I filed most of it off. Oh. Well, if not all of it. <laughs> you know what that means, though? No. You're gonna have to do another one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Okay, so I am just buffing this nail, just prepping it for the acrylic. Now, when I put the acrylic on this, you can see that it's not my foundation pink and it's not my pink, but it's a mixture of the both of them to create this very opaque kind of look. But I did something else to give it a little bit more opacity and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so I'm gonna get an empty dish so I've got my foundation pink. So I'm gonna put not equal parts of foundation pink and pink um, tint. I'm gonna put, I think it's, I think I need to start with my foundation first because that's the majority of it. So I think it was equal parts of this. So one, two, three, four, five, six taps maybe because I'm just needing for one. And I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six taps for the other color. And then I'm going to need a pinch of the white. That gives it a little bit more opacity to sort of create this very solid nude look. And it's just a pinch of the white. Okay. Maybe two pinches. So usually I mix them up and I do all the nails, but in this case, I mixed it up and then I wanted to show you how I did it. So now I'm getting a little bit different mix just because the taps might be a bit different. It's not a science when you're just doing a pinch here and a pinch there. So I'm gonna shake this up and I'm just gonna eyeball it in this case because I'm not using it from the same batch. Mmm, I'm pretty happy with that. That looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna go with that. And to be honest with you, even if you're a little bit off, you're not really gonna see the diff because it's um, it's gonna be so minimal. You're gonna be pretty close. So you don't have to be that picky on yourself. Okay, and right now I am going to get a little bit of my Susie's Fast Set that I've just released. You can buy it separately now. You don't have to buy it with the kit. And I'm just gonna pour, we're only doing one nail. It is a long nail. So I'm just gonna pour a tiny little bit into me bottle. And I'm gonna grab my favorite brush. When you buy my files or my brushes now, because they um, we've broken them up, you don't have to buy them in the one tube or you can if you buy them together, you'll get the files and the brush come separately if you buy them separately in a tube. So you get to put your hand on your tube, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Oh, I'm gonna put the form on first. Okay, so I got me brush, got my powder. I usually put them quite close together when I'm working just because I can really see them. And I'm gonna put it on an angle because I wanna be able to grab that. So I'm gonna put it, the lid on the one corner. So I'm just gonna place my um, powder on an angle when I have a little bit left in the jar. Cause when you take your monomer, you don't want it to hit the base of whatever you're working with. Cause the monomer could grab right onto the bottom and stick with it. Cause you want a bit of a pile. So every system starts with a prep and prime and mine is called Let's Prep. And I'm just gonna put this on my nail. And then I'm gonna use my Let's Bond. 
and that's applied after prep. And you just want to put a nice amount to cover the nail, but you don't want to oversaturate. Okay, make sure you get the little side of it. Okay, now we're going to build the nail. First, I'm going to get a form. Now, forming for these kinds of nails is a little bit different. I'm going to actually do a video about this in particular. Okay, so I'm not going to get into it too much, but all I can tell you is if you want that more of a tube-like straight, we don't form it with the natural curve of the nail. We're going to form it a little bit more straight. Okay, so I'm just going to build this nail right out so we can get going closer to our design. this nail just make sure you keep it as square as possible you don't want to taper it in that's if you're going for that very very tubular look filing a tube nail like this, just make sure you don't lean on an angle in any sort of way. You want to keep it perfectly, perfectly straight. I'm sculpting this with my coarse file. It is really, really good for sculpting acrylic end gel. So as I do this, I'm turning. It looks like I'm just going back and forth, but I'm actually turning it quite a bit. I'm going like from here to here the whole time that I'm going back and forth. And sculpting is all about angles. Just look at it every sort of angle and get it to the thinness that you want it and the shape that you want. You just keep going until you get what you're looking for. The reason why I picked this shape is because I have smaller nails and I wanted to get as much nail estate as possible because the jewels we want to put on, we just want to load it up. And I did bring my time travel kit with me with all my nail jewels in it. So let's see what I've got here. So the first thing we're going to need is these because we are going to break apart our vintage jewelry. So let me just get out the jewel. I just want to show you that. Okay, I've got to show you this. I wanted to show Caraman this too. Look at this little tiny. Let me put my travel kit away. That's actually my grandma's. That's authentic, that one. Okay, so look at this, Caraman. I don't think I've shown you this yet. Oh my goodness. This is not a sponsored video. They didn't ask me. They just sent it to me, which is really sweet. But look. Recognize this cameraman? Not yet, I don't. Oh, yeah. That's the Kira Sky it's lamp. It's a baby version of the big one. Oh, yeah. It's adorable. Cute. Okay. Let's just get this plugged in because that's what we're going to use to nuke some of this gel. Okay. Look at my vintage collection. So I go to vintage fairs. Some Well, everything was working and open. And I've collected some wonderful things. These are the beads. These are my nail jewelry beads. But take a look at some of these beautiful vintage jewelry pieces. Look at this one. Look at that. Now, of course, I can't get that on my nail. Wow. It's just far too big. But that's what I should be wearing up here. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm going to use this one, too. Isn't that beautiful? And this is not a vintage item, but they're just so darn cute. I've got to figure out a way how we can incorporate these. 
Look at that. Oh, nice keys. I know. They're just adorable. And look at this. I mean, I love this pattern, but of course it's big enough that I can't. But I might use the chain if I can use that chain. If not, one of these ones. I do like the colors that is in this. I'm going to rip this off. I like this. I'm going to use this one, actually. Okay, so what I'm going to do is those tools, you just start breaking them apart. Okay, so I've got these pliers and I'm literally just going to rip them up. Oh, they came apart pretty easy. Look at that, eh? Nicely done. Yeah. So I'm just going to start ripping them all apart. Hope I don't wreck them. At first I felt a little guilty doing it because someone put this together originally to be in that design and now I'm ripping it apart. But I guess it's no different than when you're melting jewelry down or you could call this recycled jewelry. Those are huge. Can you fit those on a nail? Well, my nails beds are on the smaller side, but yeah, you can. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow. Yep. Oh, it's going to be fun. Okay, so just give me a second. I'm just going to break all these apart. I didn't want to do it ahead of time because then I'd be all broken apart and I wouldn't be able to show you the jewelry piece that I broke it apart from. And, you know, maybe I'm not using the right tool specifically. Oh, those came together. That could be an advantage. I really like that light amber color, right? This one looks like it's actually going to come out of the... I forget what they call those the little points where they... Woo! That one did. Look at that. It just popped right out of it. Oh, that's pretty. It's a little dirty, but I can clean that up. These are light and neat. I like these. This looks like it was some sort of bracelet at one point. I'm just going to slide it off and let them fall into the dish. See this little guy? Oh, that's cool. I know, I like that one. Speaking of old things, Karen, man, did you see the, the little Talking old- Talking about me? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Speaking, Speaking of, of old things, old things Karen. Karen. Right, I got it. Sorry, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny though. Um, did you see this old shoe on the table? I did. Actually, I was going to ask you about that, but I thought maybe uh, you are going to save it as a surprise and I'd ruin the surprise. Well, it's not much of a surprise. It's just kind of funny. This is an old shoe from, this is actually the shoe, my wedding shoe. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's all kind of icky. It's been in a box for years, but um, this is a size five. That's how small my foot used to be. Oh, wow. I won't ask what it is now. It's only a six, six and a half sometimes. Mm. <laughs> and feet do get fatter. They do. And that's actually my wedding dress in the background. It's having a little fun vintaging the set up. But I just had to show you my shoe because it is so tiny. I couldn't believe it. Now, I don't know if I can get a pearl off. I know one fell off. But let me see. Oh, look at that. And it's not a flat bottom. It is actually a round critter doesn't have a flat side to it. So these came off not too bad. So let me, oh, <laughs> maybe, maybe some of them do. I'll keep my finger on it so I don't lose it. There's another one. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some of these off. So maybe we can put them in the nail that we're gonna do today. These keys, I really do like the key. That would be something to stick on, wouldn't it? I'm gonna get it on there. You're gonna do that? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Wow. We're gonna do the key for sure. Like a, I like the size of these ones, but I don't like the color. Of course, the color I like is too big. Oh, wait a second. There's a little key in here. Yeah, he's definitely going in there. This brooch is neat. I would keep the brooch intact, but I don't wear brooches. Let me see if I can steal the chain. Oh, see this? I'm going to open it up. When you're taking this apart, you kind of... You might need to have two hands on it like I'm using my fingers as the oh I got it which was this this is only nine dollars so I don't feel that guilty breaking it up I mean if I went and bought nail art it'd be about that it won't be probably cheaper than that but look at these nice little delicate chains I really do like these I like the color I like those I don't know how we're going to incorporate them but that's what we're going to do so combined with my modern nails and some other modern beads that I have, we're going to just have fun and just start loading up these nails and get a real beautiful vintage look. I'm going to 
to start with the thumb to get an idea. And I'm going to use a very thick gel. So I am just going to apply it. Here for this guy. Oh, I gotta cling on. It's okay, I'm gonna keep it there. Looks good. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna nuke this. Where's the on? Oh, well, that's pretty cool. And I'm just gonna give that a nuke. Turning it just to make sure that the light can penetrate into the actual gel to get underneath the jewels because they're pretty big. Okay, that's our first one. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and just start adding and adding and adding and getting some character. It's a little crazy, but. It's crazy. There, I said it. What, that I'm crazy? No, it's crazy. <laughs> you gotta be a little crazy to have fun. Okay, here we go. No, I don't like it crooked. I like it straight. Okay, so I, I, I like that, but I'm just gonna clean up the edge so I don't have too much bulk. I'm gonna add a lot more gel and gems and stuff, but I just don't wanna have too much bulk around there. Okay, I'm gonna nuke that. Because my fingers are not that big and the key is really big, not many fingers could take that, but um, I just wanna nuke it on there on the thumb and get it on there because there's a chance that if I don't get it on the thumb, I might not be able to get it on another finger. I did make some little flowers. I'll show them to you. And you can see how, it, when I dump them out here, how it will add a nice little vintage look. I pre-made them because flowers can take a whole lot. I have a video where somewhere along the line, cameraman can put a card up there, maybe to show them there where that is or at the end or description maybe. Okay, so let's just start making a nice design around the edges here. These will be littler ones, so I'll work on this one side right now and see how it goes. Ooh, this is pretty. You see that one, Caraman? I like that, yeah. That fit in there really nice. Yeah, it's nice. And this circle, it's pretty. And I've got this old pearl that I wonder if he'll sit right in there. I don't know if I like the dot there, but let's see if I can no, turn it. No, the dot you don't want. No, I don't. I turned it. Let me see this little square here. This is a new jewel. This is modern day. to drill little holes and I'm actually making the chain I'm stealing it from this collection and I'm going to open up this little ring here a little jewelry ring I just want to bend that open so I can get it on the nail I'm going to put that down remember which one I did I'm going to get a e-file and I'm going to drill a little hole. This is super, super, see if you can see that, super, super pointy drill bit. Now, back in the 80s, I had a tiny little screwdriver. I still have it around here somewhere, but I wanted, you would be able to have that. So I wanted to show you with the e-file. Now, I have made a little hole in this one, all ready to go. And I'm going to chain it 
to this snail, but I'm going to do it to the outside of it. So I'm going to drill a little hole right about here. Now you don't want to go too far in because your O-ring can only fit your jewelry ring. I don't know what they call it. It's not an O-ring, but I'm going to go to more this side here to make sure it has enough room to be able to loop it through. If you do it too far in, it, the ring's not big enough. Be careful because I don't want to put a hole through my yeah, you gotta Finger. watch your thumb if it yeah. pushes through all suddenly, hey? I'm gonna, yeah, it Very. will. So I'm going to move my thumb. Oh, I can feel we're almost through. There we go. We're through. See, I'll show you the underside. Oh, yeah, nice. Perfect, eh? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to make it a little... I'm going to go all the way through because this thing, this drill bit, is kind of um, gets bigger as it goes down, right? So if I push it in a little bit further, that makes the hole big enough that I know I can get that O ring through or the jewelry ring. It's pretty big, I think. Okay. This almost is a two handed job. So if you get a little frustrated, be patient with yourself because if you're doing it yourself, it's, it's easier to do this on a client. It's easier to do all of this on a client, but sometimes we are the client. Okay, so remember that oh that little ring I made a, I opened it right up, and I am going to oopsie, I'm going to put it right through that, and you can see it coming out the other side there. I'm gonna hold it with that, and I'm gonna try to bring it all the way through, and again this is one handed so it's hard, and I am going to squeeze it together. You know, it's like piercing an ear. When I was a kid, you know how I had my ears pierced? <laughs> I was about 11. And my aunt took an ice cube and a needle, froze the ear with an ice cube, and shoved it right through when she felt it was frozen enough. That's how we pierced our ears when we were kids. We'll be back in the 70s. But that's how we did it. I am so queasy too, but I pierced my ear, or she did it. And then... That night, it fell out in the middle of the night, and I must have woken up to try to put it on. I think that's what I did do, but I passed out on the bathroom floor. So I can't handle stuff like that. But piercing my nail is totally different. I can handle that. There's no blood involved. Well, yet. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to close this. Why do you want to close it before the... Uh... Because the other somewhere. one is, is it already open? No, it's not. So we'll shove it in there. I've already closed it. So I'm going to push that on there. Oh, I see. You're going ring to ring. Yeah. I didn't know that. I'm trying to get that ring so it's on there. See what I'm doing? There we go. And now I'm trying to close this ring together. You can see it's, it is really tough with just one hand. Okay, now I'm trying to snap them together. It's not going to remain a perfect circle, that's for sure. What I don't want to do, my nails are pretty thin. Sometimes on camera they can look like they're pretty thick, but honestly they are very, very thin, especially on these parts. So I don't want to snap it and put enough stress on the nail that I can actually break the nail. So I don't know if you can see, I'm going to actually try to show you how thin they are. Take a look at this pinky. If we look down, you're nice and close in there right now. I put my finger over top, you can see how thin that is. See that very end? That's how thin it is. It's very, very thin. Okay. So what I'm trying to stress is this one even might be a little bit thinner. So with the fact that it is so thin, you just want to be careful that you don't um, snap that one side off by stressing it just the wrong way, right? Okay. So I am just going to try to close this a little bit more, this little clasp. I'm trying to clamping it together. It seems like you need bigger pliers. Yeah. There we go. That worked. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time, putting the chains going from one finger to the other. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, that looks good. That's neat. Isn't that cool? I've been wanting to do it for a while. We used to do this in the 80s, not so much with the chains, but we used to have like pierced nails all the time. The little sayings on them and little pictures, sort of like these things, but it pierced right through the nail. 
they had little posts and everything, and then you screwed the little bolt on the back. Oh, you bolted it. Oh, <laughs> you yeah. really did. And then you could cut the post. Hmm. That was in the 80s. Okay, cool. Okay, well, it'll look really cool in the pictures. So I've got one more nail to finish, and then we'll take a look at those reveal shots. <laughs> That is a very, and you know what? It is heavy. It's a very different set for me. Beautiful. I love it. It's spectacular looking. It is. And look at the chain. That's so cool. Very cool. Very different. I like the dangling of the chain. Yeah, it's pretty neat. And we got a little jiggy with the music. I love the music all through this. I thank you for entertaining my vintage idea set. I'm going to change it up every now and then. I love doing the background there doing different designs and colors one thing i do want to show you is when you're ha being creative and you're having fun and you, you make a mess that's just the long and short of it cameraman can you sort of show the mess on this desk mm -hmm. this is where creativity happens this is where designs like this you know if you don't bring all the stuff you don't know what you're going to use i didn't know what i was going to use until i put it all together it ended up a little bit different than what i had in mind but i think it's really really pretty it's not as heavy as I thought, actually. One thing I should want to show you. Okay, I'm going to move this. Out. Just bear with me for a second. I'm going to move this because we got married, what, 38 years ago? Yeah, that's right. 38. Usually I do my other foot. Well, I guess I can show this foot, but this was a size five when I got married. <laughs> I'm just going to see if I can get it. I'm going to show you how I can't get it on. I'm just gonna get up me foot, my puffy little foot. And I'm gonna look. <laughs> now they're swollen because I've been sitting here so long trying to do nails. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Look at that. Not even close. Yes, I'm only a size six, six and a half now, but. That's not even close. <laughs> Thank you for joining me in this video. If you do want to catch another great video, I've got one about steampunk. I love this set and I had so much fun doing it. I hope you enjoy watching it. Bye.